Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for March 22. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video, I'll be covering the top assets and effects. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, this month I just published my second free asset. It's a health system, just like I've used in so many videos. It's super easy to use, and all of the code is set up in a really nice, clean way. The asset also includes a code walkthrough video where I go through all of the code step by step. It's free, so check it out and maybe use it in your next project. And there's also a sale active on the store right now. It has a time travel theme and a bonus coupon for an extra 10% off. There's quite a bunch of interesting assets on this sale. For example, the all-in-one VFX toolkit, this one is excellent. It's from the same developer as the all-in-one sprite shader that I covered in a review. Then if you need more synthy assets, over here is a really nice modular fantasy hero. You have a complete game template for making a colony simulator. There's some portals, some fog, a nice shader effect, and a bunch more stuff. So check out the sale and see if anything you're interested in is currently discount. Alright, so starting off with one that looks great and is actually pretty cheap. It's an arcade vehicle physics pack. For me, I've only done a bit of work with racing games. I made a game jam quite a long time ago. Trying to build a working car that felt good to drive was actually pretty tricky, so I just made something that was extremely simple. So for me, this one looks great. The vehicle wobbles, you've got some tire marks, some smoke, and definitely looks like it feels very arcadey. And the price is really cheap, so if you need a car controller, then maybe get this one. Up next, an interesting one, a sensor toolkit. This one is a collection of sensor components to detect various objects and sense the world around them. Basically, it's a collection of tools for object detection, uses many sensor types, uses raycast, volumetric, line of sight and more, works in both 2D and 3D. And this one is version 2 with tons of positive reviews, so it looks like a really well-built asset. And if you're working in VR and you want to rig your character and look at this one, Personally, I haven't done any VR work, but I imagine handling correct grab points is quite tricky, which seems to be what this one is doing. There are several of these interaction toolkits around. Again, I'm not familiar with VR development, so I'm not sure what's unique about this one, but it does seem very complete. It lets you grab objects in any way, in any axes, throw them with physics, trigger some buttons, open some drawers or use some levers, grab and use some weapons, and so on. And somewhat related to that, but not necessarily, here is a fully working in-game keyboard. Naturally, this is perfect for VR, so you can type anything without needing to actually use an actual keyboard. But this one can be also extremely useful for gamepad-focused games, where you want the player to be able to write some text, or really just input their name, again, without needing a keyboard. It's got all of the keys, symbols, numbers, and even some text emojis. It includes various visual looks, so you can make it fit your game. Then if your game is meant to have some realistic bullets, look at this one, you define the force and penetration of your bullets and how resistant each material is, and you fire the bullet. Maybe it will go through 10 pieces of wood, but only 2 pieces of metal. It includes ricochets, some trajectory prediction, you can easily set up the projectile curves, and it even supports the Coriolis effect. On top of all of that, it even says that this one is multiplayer ready. So tons of options if you're working on a game where realism is key. Up next, here's a possibly very useful one. It's a file browser that works directly in-game. Super useful for loading images, or maybe some mod files, or really just finding a save folder. Interestingly, this one does not use any Windows DLL, so you could get it working on Mac and Linux, although apparently that requires some work. This one is useful for games, like I said, for example, locating mod files. But perhaps even more useful if you're working on any kind of non-game application built with Unity. Then if you have a 2D game and you want to simulate some wind, look at this one. Basically applies a force around a certain area. You can make the wind as strong or as weak as you like. Make it push up, right, down on any direction. You can also make it interact with the Unity particle system. It's very easy to use since it works directly with all of the Physics 2D components. You really just drag the prefab and watch the wind. And up next, here's a really unique one. It's a tool for measuring and resizing objects based on real-world units. It extends the built-in transform component to provide fields for real-world units. You can use metric or imperial. So it's a simple tool that does exactly what you want, could be very useful if your game relies heavily on some extremely precise measurements. Then over here we have a tool for making bridges in seconds. First you just make your terrain as normal, then you just click to add the points to make the main bridge shape, then play around the materials, the width, whether you want an arch or not, and so on. It automatically modifies the terrain, removes the trees and does everything, and the final result looks really good. 
So if you build your environments and then realize you need to change some things around, then a tool like this one to dynamically make some bridges can be a real time saver. And finally, another interesting one, you've got a JavaScript console. You open up a console with a key, then easily type in any JavaScript to interact with the world. So you can move some objects, you can spawn them, change some materials, change gravity, and so on. Even though it's named JavaScript, it's not literally JavaScript. It's actually written in pure C-sharp, so with no plugins or no DLLs. It's definitely a niche tool, but if you want a quick console and you're already familiar with JavaScript, then it can be quite useful. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Store for March 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.